Ramsey is actually there, though. Oh, yeah, this is actually where I first found him. That's right. Yeah. He was telling me to go inside of the cemetery and find... Yeah, he's right here. He's Sorry, literally right here. Like a... Yay. I was looking for that flag the entire time. I want you to know that. Any luck in old lady Surrey's too? It's okay, I won't tell anyone. Ask us if he's ever heard of the Adoran. Try as he might, Tarquin cannot hide a small flash of surprise. Where did you hear that precisely? Never mind. The Aetirin is a children's fable, nothing more. Supposedly a wand with an infinite capacity for source. Pure nonsense, I assure you. Remark the Magisters seem to believe that the Adoran is real. They've been looking for it. Really? Well, perhaps that says more about the caliber of their intellect than anything else. Such a device would be a gross over-concentration of power. It could purge the entire world of all source. Luckily, the laws of the universe render such a thing impossible. I think we get to the next uh, place, by the way, I might take more Brady. Feeling your advancing age, are you? I never matter. I don't mind repeating myself if I must. I'll even use language any simpleton can understand. Find the tomb where Joanna Surrey is buried. Retrieve the mysterious heirloom that was buried with her. Bring it to me. Tarquin sighs. I hate to sound so condescending, but sometimes it pays to be straightforward. Can I'm I kill sure him? <laughs> he places we his kill him later. Because he's better. Means in the demonic tongue. When, as one, I am slayer of sin and the bane of the living, restore my twin, make me whole. The object continues. In archive of old, the blade resides, an isle of blood where demons abide. It's true, then. Anathema, within reach. Tell me, is this all there was? There weren't any other curios in there? Ah. Uh. But of course. I consider it my scholarly duty to know what I can of them. Surely you of all people understand the quest for knowledge. He breathes a long, lugubrious sigh. It's time I leveled with you. This is the hand grip of the fabled anathema. A sword capable of annihilating anyone. Even a divine. Imagine it. Holding in your hand a force that could wipe away sun and shadow. A sword of life and death. Miracle and sin. A sword of... Atonement. I can restore anathema to working condition. But this is only half of it. We still need the blade. How fortunate that the hilt has already told us where to find it. Blood Moon Island. Fascinating. And it told you exactly where to find it. Histories are wildly incomplete. But now I have a better picture of how Anathema came to be. An exorcised demon living in a sword of glass. The hilt was brought here by one of the many Surreys. Not surprised. None yeah, of them sound too yeah. bright. What? I'll be back. I can't imagine having even half a demonic sword around was very healthy for that feeble-minded family. They probably winced whenever a black cat came around. Um... Well, well, well. You've got spirit to go with those smarts. Blood Moon Island awaits, my friend. It's a bit of a jaunt, but this gives me time to prepare my workspace. We'll catch up in the Lady Vengeance, yes? Tarquin doesn't wait for an answer. His attentions are already turned elsewhere. Second time's a charm? Or have I asked too much of you? Inform him that Raker will no longer be a problem. Well, huh. That's a relief. Not the most accommodating sorcerer I've known. Still, I'd sooner toil outside the gates than in. His aura leaves a most unpleasant aftertaste. Produce the blade you found in the archives. The object quivers as Tarquin nears it and hums a response. Connected as one, the past and present slain. Absolution and redemption await the one whose sins are many. Oh, very good. Very, very, very good. 
This, my friend, is the key. Give me some time, and every deity in existence will tremble at the sight of you. He holds out his hand expectantly. Lovely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must work. Tarquin turns away, but continues to mutter excitedly, almost religiously, about anathema. Hmm. I don't think any of these are going to be very good. Please, Lord. You. The creature. His frantic get me. My axe. Why? Why did you run down there? <laughs> you I really wanted to get back into WoW. I stopped playing just before Warlords came out. I mean, it's not exactly a good game. Wow, okay. I currently main arrest their druid in WoW. We did it.
an ancient altar to the seven stands alone before you. Faint, comforting heat emanating from the stones themselves calls you forward. The stones appear to be just that. Apart from a few faded red stains across the topmost slab, nothing unusual betrays itself. Can't sleep again, so I've just watched five episodes of Sons of Anarchy back to back. I do that all the time, where like, I'll just sit down and binge watch something. Gentle heat warms your hand. The air stirs, as though someone had appeared and taken a seat upon the altar. A voice rises around you, its source unclear. Fractured whispers surround you. God woken. The word flutters against your ear. You are my champion. You cannot fail. A jolting sensation pierces your heart. As the shock fades, you realize you've absorbed a modicum of source, seemingly from the air around you. The whispers shuffle away, and the air shifts. Whatever was here a moment ago is gone now. Oh, okay. Done with that. I have to find Tarquin, but I think he's below deck. Sir? I think he's on the boat. I'm gonna save just in case. So, ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. Yep, that's fine. We're going. Fantastic. Now, on to the interesting part. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited. Here we are, the Nameless Isle. And here I thought Malady was unimaginative. Still, it's what's on the inside that counts, isn't that right? And this is the place you're meant to become a god. I can't help but wonder exactly what you intend to do with such a power. That's true, technically. But do be wary of putting yourself first at the expense of others. Those who are mistreated tend not to bear their condition indefinitely. Remember that. You'll want to hurry now. Divinity is waiting, after all. Excellent question. Normally, this place ought only to be known to Godwoken, but... Judging by the ships burning in the bay, there's been oh, a... that's uh, awkward. Witch, ...let's call it. Regardless of who's on the island, all that matters is who ascends. I'm going to head off and Make watch sure one more episode. Then. Okay, well, have a good night. The strongest will survive and ascend. Don't tell me what to do, woman. Okay, wait. Before we go any further, there's something I want to ask you. <clears throat> okay, so... Did you hear the one about the pregnant lich? She forgot her prophylactory. I know, I know, it's just... I just want to lighten the mood, the smallest of scooches. I mean, we're at the Nameless Isle. One of us is about to ascend to divinity, and we still don't know exactly who. I guess things are about to get... Uh, interesting. Same to you, Chief. Same to you. And when push comes to shove... Wishing everyone I'll good luck for this bullshit that's about to happen. I can sense the raw powers of the source rippling through the air. The island yonder. It is doom or destiny. Yeah, it's going. Not but the demon I'm hunting. A trivial task, really, compared to your current pursuits of divinity. Jahan takes you by the arm, his voice a whisper. Don't touch me. By the by, do please remember the warning I gave you in the woods. Should Losa come close to divine ascension, you must act. You must kill her. Okay, cool story. 
Uh, note that the island seems rife with danger. Might he be able to offer any advice? Hmm. Dangers indeed. You can almost hear the sounds of battle when the wind shifts correctly. And where there's battle, there's bound to be mercenaries. Glecu Duma, the words of the lone wolves. No doubt my former comrades will have them in their employ. Speak their words, and you might pass. Speak their words, and you might pass. Consider it a token of my thanks for the assistance in retrieving Anathema. Ask what progress he's made with Anathema. My efforts continue. I must admit it's quite an intricate piece to work with, even for someone like myself. I remain confident of success, though. <sighs> Pursuit of my interests has led me to fall in with some disreputable company in my time. For a short while, one such group was the Black Ring. I know, I know, not something to be proud of, but they let me do as I wished, so desperate they were for aid after the death fog cut them down to size. A fine arrangement, until they started preaching about this god king and his infernal covenant. He snorts derisively. The last thing this world needs is another would-be god, and an army of fools willing to follow him. Um, ask what is this covenant? It's a sop to all the fools who think that someone will grant them power and immortality in return for loyalty. This god king has caused to make war with the seven, and the covenant is how he's gathered his army. They become sworn, as it was put to me, bound to serve, die, and be reborn for the god king for as long as he wishes. Then at some ill-defined point in the future, they think they'll be rewarded. You should have seen them all. On their knees, worshipping a new tyrant just to spite seven old ones. I got away from them while I still could. Unfortunately, Dallas was waiting to snatch me. Order him to tell you what he knows about the God King. There's a clue in the name. He's a god, or something that wants to be a god. Continue to march to the Seven's Beat, and I'm sure you'll find out exactly what he is. They're all the same, you know. Tyrants. Liars, carrion birds. The best thing would be for them all to destroy each other and leave the rest of us to live in peace. You don't get out much, do you? Blackly. Could they be doing the purging? The plot thinens. Who's doing what? As if from nowhere. A sweating warrior appears before you. Who the hell's be you? Tell him to back the hells off. If you'll not be with the God King, you'll be against. So rejoice. I I'll bring you to death. death. Ma -ma -ma. Hey, I mean, I don't like any of you guys, so it's cool. Cool, Al. I don't know what I'm doing with this character.
That's poison. Oh, he killed himself. That's pretty cool. Did he just res him? Oh no, he teleported someone up there. story. Wow, has one health, really? Okay, then.
I missed. Sorry, Loza. Oh, you're fine. See? <laughs> Breath, the Magister fishes out a canteen of water. She gulps half of it down. Then splashes blood and grime from her face with the rest. She nods at you, a touch wary. My thanks for your help. But who are you? The same thing you're Godwoken. Godwoken? There's only one Godwoken on this island, and it isn't you. I owe you. But it doesn't mean I'll tolerate blasphemy either. But I'm not lying. Anyway, if you need shelter, look for the bishop and the rest of my comrades. They retreated north to our rendezvous point. We'll head there once we've tended to our fallen. Tell her to hold on. She's saying that Alexander is here and alive. Our true leader has returned and united us. It's nothing short of a miracle he's made it this far. He's dodged assassins more than once. Now it's our holy duty to safeguard him until he becomes the next divine. And that means putting these black ring devils to the sword. Ask what the black ring is doing here. Isn't it bloody obvious? They're destroying the sacred temples and killing everyone in sight. If I were you, I'd get out of the open as soon as possible. You frown with surprise. Alexander vanished along with all the others when the Lady Vengeance breached the Hall of Echoes. You assumed he was dead. Has as many lives as a cat, it seems. Let's see, he, let's see if he acts like one when cornered. Has as many lives as a cat, it seems. Ooh, I forgot it does that. It's like one when cornered. That bastard rises up again more times than the sun. Maybe someone should see that he stays down next time. Oh, won't he be ever so happy to see us? This is going to be extra fun. To the altar. Is that always a good idea? The altar stands before you flecked with moss and the cracks of age. An ant crawls across the surface, dipping in and out of the inscription that's engraved on the rock. In honor of Ralith, first of the gods and patron of humanity. Kneel before the altar and whisper a quiet prayer to the human's god. Perhaps here in his own temple you can talk to him. As your prayer drifts away on the breeze, you feel the world around you shift. You open your eyes to a courtyard with wooden targets and practice posts scattered about. And there before you stands Ralik, a twisted old man struggling to heft his own sword. With difficulty, he lifts it high, cutting down towards one of the targets, but he misses completely. His sword clangs against the cobbles, slipping out of his hands and skittering towards you. 
Cursing loudly, he crawls towards you, searching hands running over the stone. He's blind. He hears you as you step forward and lets out a cackle. One of the others sent you, eh? Sent you to pester a poor old man that has lost his sight. Pick up the sword and return it to him. He snatches it back from you, but seems more likely to use it as a support than a weapon. He approaches, running his hands over your face. He grunts. He's not impressed by Tyr Sandelius' champion, apparently. But he says that he may be willing to help. He just needs a little something from you. A small favor. Two, actually. He grins broadly. Yellow, crooked teeth splayed wide. He needs... This doesn't help. sound like a god. After all, what is a warrior without his sight? He assures us that they will be put to good use in the war against the Void. You have a better idea. Ask your god to intervene and do something about this. Your god leaps forward, knocking the frail old man sideways. Relic gets to his feet, grabbing a shield emblazoned with a burning sun, and backs away defensively. The image fades, leaving only the symbol of the sun dancing in your vision. You slowly come to your senses at the temple, where chittering birdsong fills your ear. Why would he expect me to give... Like, what? I'm not gonna give him my sight. You blind the rest of the game? No. Say. A black ring captain stands before you. She looks remarkably ordinary, you think, as far as black ring go. But then you hear a voice inside your head. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. And do not doubt me, for I tell the truth. Wonder to yourself if she can read your mind. Imagine dancing with her drunk in the moonlight. Her expression does not change. She cannot read your mind, but you can read her face. And you see she grows impatient. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. Tell her that who you are is none of her concern. When she speaks inside your head, her words have weight, as if they force themselves into your mind, whether you would let them or not. Tell me who you are, or I will kill you. Make the sign of the lone wolf. The sign is good, so kill the divine pigs and kill the god woke and kill them all, and then perhaps you die and rise again. Keep your peace, nod in acknowledgement, and turn away. Yeah, let's not mess with them just yet. Hello, Krug the Troll. The Troll leans in and glares at you with beady little eyes. His breath is like a butcher's offal bucket, left in the sun too long. No cave for you. Glance at the black ring banner nearby and ask what's in the cave. The troll crosses his arms across his chest and shakes his head. I get sack of me every day to watch cave. And not answer questions about cave. Island keeps me strong, stronger than other trolls. Go now, or there will be pummeling. Ask the troll why he's guarding the cave. I tell you this already. I guard cave for sack of meat. Every day, a new sack filled with tasty chunks. Human, elf, lizard, all is good. Mentioned that you had dealings with some of his compatriots before, Grog and Marge, they were called. Can't he just trust you and let you pass? No care about other puny trolls. They are weak next to Krog. I don't like Krug. And defeat Krug. And no cave for you. Give him the sign of the lone wolves? The troll stares at you in abject confusion for a long moment before. No cave for you. Okay, no cave for me. Okay. 
Don't know what's going on up there, but okay. Do you serve the God King scum? Kill them. Well, this is not going to be good. There's one. So much fire. Oh god, that was dumb. Holy crap. I think this one's dead.
Oh, smart. Why didn't I hit it? <laughs> That works. 